peace what's good what's up how you all doing this is queen sarita back today with another video because i've got to talk to you about this important thing i was thinking about some things that has happened in my life and some of those prominent things that were happening in my life happened while i was making these videos a lot of them it's been at least five six seven years something like that but I've been on my spiritual journey even longer than that. But a lot of the time, like I was doing videos too, when I was going through a lot of shifts. And all I wanted was for my life to get better. I really did. And I didn't know what to do. I felt like I was cursed a lot of times in my life. Seriously. Um, and I was like, who else is dealing with this sort of stuff? But then there were areas where I felt very blessed also. Um, and I just didn't understand how to get more of the blessings. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, of course, we all know as time goes on, lessons are blessings. But you don't get that immediately. It comes with time. It comes with some age and some experience. But there are some things that I intentionally did that um, I can see my life changed when I did these things. So I'm going to talk to you about some of them. There are others. I will add the rest of them to one of the groups that I've created. I've got like six, well, seven to eight groups that are on specific topics. So that way we can dialogue and build on these things and really share and grow in these areas. And they, this one, since this is about my life changing, this is probably going to maybe be in the life coaching um, portion of it, the Naturally High Life Coaching Group. So here, things that changed as a result of this for me, when I stopped watching people and I lived my life, that changed my life right there. My life changed. I came back to doing videos as a result of me stopping watching literally hundreds of videos of people, different people, and some stuff I just want, I love learning. So just be online learning and stuff. And then like, it's not, is it really contributing to the success of my business? Sometimes it was not. So it's like, what are you doing? If you want your businesses to be successful. When I took a life coaching course um, last year, I really calculated about how many years it could possibly be that I would have living on the planet. You know what I mean? At the age that I am now. And I happen to be 40 years old right now, this video. And um, I just knew something had to change. If I wanted to go in the direction that I wanted to go into, then finally I got it. I'm like, yo, I've got to do something a little bit different, a little bit more. I got to be a little bit extra with it. I got to come with it um, more often. And when you come with stuff more often, you get more experience, you fail a lot, you fail, you make mistakes, um, then you finally learn. So I learned from stopping myself from being on social media day in and day out and, you know, just liking stuff to be liking it. Like I became more strategic and I wanted to be able to give to you all on this channel and to communicate with you all and stuff. And I couldn't do that if I was going to be more of a watcher than a creator and I had to I love creating and you know um, one of the ways I love to create is through video so there you have it we're all creating now the one thing that I did do I didn't stop watching people and videos or whatever what I did do is I stopped watching people that were not relevant to my own success that was key there are certain people like a woman named LaShonda Henry LaShonda, LaShonda Henry is with Sister Sense. Sister Sense, if you go online and look up her website, The Bomb, just Google her. She is a awesome woman about her business, very experienced, has been in some very prominent magazines and stuff like that, and she gets it. She's really about that life of building and growing your business, and she does it with women entrepreneurs, so I follow her stuff. And what I do is I'll follow people like her, but not everybody. Before I'd follow like hundreds of people and I'd be so confused because I'm learning strategies on how to do a website, on how to do a newsletter, on how to build a funnel, on how to make my art, whatever. Showcase my art, sell art, make tarot cards, do videos on here, um, do the tarot cards, how to film them. I learned a lot. 
and I failed a whole lot, but I started focusing only on the people who would be relevant to me being successful because they were doing things the way that I would want to do them. LaShonda Henry, for instance, from SisterSense.com, she is a web designer, graphic designer also. I had a, a, a coaching session with her, um, basically a clarity session, and I still have it saved. You know, I got a copy of it but very grounded, practical advice on what I could do to get myself together at that time for um, my business, what website, things like that. Yeah, I got to go back to that because she gave me such good advice that and it was very actionable things that I could do. This was a, a free consultation I got from her once. She is invaluable. Her prices are good as well. But anyway, I can't say enough about her because she is definitely someone I look up to, look at and um, aspire to incorporate and be, you know, embodying the energy of like she just she just gives and she's got a very good system going for her. You can tell that's why she gets it done like she does everything. She just does it. So um, with that, there's so many teachers you want to focus on the teacher that's right for you. Now, I've got 24 different tips on this list and I'm only at number one. <laughs> Because it was pivotal for me to stop watching everybody and their mama looking at what they're doing and seeing how I can put some of that in with what I'm doing. I just I just couldn't do I just decided not to do that to myself anymore, especially when I got a direct message from uh, my ancestors spirit basically letting me know, like, you're really wasting your time. Like, what are you doing? And I had to really snap out of it and keep it real with myself during the life coaching course I was taking. And I was like, you know what? You're really not going for it like, you know, you can. I said, can I at least give what I want a chance? Like nothing else does it for me but doing this video, readings, consulting, life coaching, motivating, inspiring, you know, dropping that love, reminding myself of love um, and just getting better, learning to get better, <laughs> failing on the way up, <laughs> failing on the way to remembering who we are. Anyway, so the other thing I stopped doing at number two was I stopped doing the things that the other people okay so here goes the people that I used to watch okay at first I'd watch them but I realized there were people that I could learn from by watching their videos and watching them so I started watching them and doing what they were doing instead of just watching them you know so if it was something I could implement to my business an idea something I started taking a lot of notes and just really learning from those core people so I told myself, like, you got to have a core group of teachers you learn from. I always had some type of teacher, but you don't need to, you don't need to know everything everybody else is doing. You can't even implement all of that stuff right now in this lifetime. It's not that many hours in the day. You can attempt it, but it can be very frustrating when it doesn't get done. I listened to some strong leaders. That's the other thing I did. That's number three. Really listen to some strong leaders like LaShonda Henry I just talked about. Um, and a lot of beautiful people came into my life that um, they're being actionable and they're taking little people have been taking little steps, but I've just been able to learn a lot from watching and uh, learning from these leaders, listening to them. A lot of rags to riches stories, y'all, we have, you know what I'm saying? Um, or just you had to learn this stuff the hard way. <laughs> For real, I did. You just had to learn it the hard way on your own. The next thing is got a new vision for my life. Number four, that's the other thing. My life changed when I did that. When I got a new vision for my life, my life before I had a little vision, it was tiny, it wasn't all that big. I went through life coaching. I went through some spiritual initiations, all kinds of stuff. And I started expanding my vision once I learned more about who I was. It couldn't be small anymore. I would be only fooling myself and, you know, shortening my potential, not really giving um, life and um, not giving life to my dreams and stuff the way I really wanted to. So I had to change that, especially when I realized that I am the manager of my life. OK, I got a new vision for my life. Number four, number five was become the manager in my life. I became the manager in my life. And that's when my life changed also. I really started making more decisions based on what I wanted, even if it was something that people wouldn't agree with. And, 
I just said, yo, I got to go for it. I have these um, call, something's calling me forward to come forward in different ways. And I can't focus on what he's doing. And I do is divinely orchestrated for me, my divine plan that I put together for myself with the divine co-creation style. You know what I'm saying? So then the other thing was I did manage my life better. So I started, you know, speaking what I wanted into reality more. Really, literally working with affirmations, really working them hardcore. And I've done this for years. Sometimes, a lot of times hit and miss, and then I became very much so, um, when I want something, I'll work it hardcore, let it go, um, release resistance, then go at it hard, release resistance, that sort of thing. But the other thing was number six, I didn't see it, but I believed it. The stuff that I wanted, even the husband, even the houses, the uh, new home, the new uh, places to live in, all these different types of stuff and traveling, seeing clients, being able to work from online. These are things that I visualized for years and I had to imagine a lot of times that I was there when I was not. I had to visualize it was happening when it wasn't the way I wanted it to be and still growing every day. Sorry, I'm tangled up in cords. Then, <laughs> so besides, I, I saw it in my mind's eye. Like I kept replaying myself receiving these things. I did. And I didn't see nobody in the sky giving it to me either. I just visualized it showing up. Expected it. Then, number seven, I got into more reading, studying, researching, and loving me more. Yeah. Then, number eight, I studied my origins, both my star origins, like the origins of me as a star seed, and I also studied my 3D physical person, this person that's right here. But I'd be up in the fourth and fifth dimension a lot of times, y'all. But I still be down here too on the 3D physical plane. But I started honoring who I was, knowing my person to be from a star, from another planet or whatever. And then I also honored the just Queen Sarita, just me right here. Um, and the divine behind all of that. The other thing I did was at number nine, I forgave mostly everything and moved on. For years, I had so much resentment, bitterness. Um, I just felt really burdened and heavy with all of that stuff. And it took a long time for me to get lighter. I never thought it would happen, y'all. I really didn't because I just saw life as being something that was against what I wanted in a way. There were so many restrictions that I was not agreeing with. Um, people wanted me to do this and I, I wanted to do that. I felt um, powerful even when I was young like a divine being but I didn't know I felt very limited and not able to exercise my skills and powers I didn't know it just had to do with the mind back then you know but um, the other thing I, I, I really had to learn to, to forgive things and um, literally forgive it because when you have people in your life that have so called done this or that to you often we forget if you came here to play a role in each other's lives, these things were planned out some kind of crazy way, right? And we came to live it out, to learn certain lessons and to grow. And that's exactly what's happening. You know, you either grow or you stay where you are. But eventually, eventually there's a lesson learned from all situations, some sort of way. Um, whether we like them or not, you know, but they grow us. Number nine, I did tell you that I forgave mostly everything. There were people that did things like intentional stuff, bullshit, for real. And um, before I'd hold on to it, I'd, they'd be literally stamped with <laughs> reject, like a rejection in red if you crossed and stuff like that. Like I really, um, I had to learn to set my boundaries and stuff. I had to learn how to do that, y'all. How many healers have learned how to do that and teachers and stuff? Many. It's a lesson for us all. It's um, drawing those boundaries and then letting people in the way you want them to be let in and being fine with that. 
you know however you feel it is probably the way you're supposed to do it anyway it's your way it's however way I want to do it um but anyway yeah people have made a lot of mistakes and done a lot of stupid stuff me too and we have to forgive people eventually because otherwise you end up dying from that holding on to that stuff it's just not worth it and when I realized that and I realized that I'm one with all like what can I hate you for when you're really coming from the same place I am even though it doesn't seem like it right now and that's why my life changed also when I got <laughs> this lesson Ooh. number 10 I learned to really love me for me like I really learned to do that like I really started doing stuff for me but I really didn't like myself a lot of the time when I was growing up I didn't know who I was what I was supposed to do um and I just felt all this power and energy and it was misdirected it was a lot of times um <laughs> misunderstood by people blah 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 I felt so different and out of that you know I just decided over the years yo you just have to come forth this is this is what it is people like it or they don't what you gonna do what you gonna, it's always what you gonna do you gotta come forth what you gonna do you gotta come forth what you gonna do anyway in my spare time i do a lot of songs like that <laughs> so um the other thing was at 11 i stopped desiring to get 